Game On magazine is chatting to Chris Mussain, the FNB UP Tux captain who led his team to the FNB Varsity Cup presented by Startup International title earlier this year. Chris, thanks for joining us. How are you? No, I'm very good. Thanks. And yourself? Uh, thanks for having me. Can't complain. It's an absolute pleasure talking to the captain of the winning team this year. Chris, let's get right into it. You know, Tux had a very good season. You know, uh, the only stumbling block was you, Jay. What would you put uh, down to your success? Where do you think you guys got it right? I, I think for us, the big thing this year was uh, the thing that uh, we had a we had a, a great, great team vibe. Um, the guys were were willing and committed to each other, and I think at the end of the day, that's what that's what set us apart. Chris, there were some close games in the round robins you played against UCT that really brought the the party to Pretoria. And then in the semi-final and the final, very close games, which is not really how Tux was used to playing in in the regular season. You had some big wins, 100 nil against CUT, smashing Schimmlers in in Bloemfontein. What got you through those matches? Where did you guys get what you needed to be able to pull off those wins? Um, I think from the beginning we knew that 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 was the cup game is, is never going to be easy. Uh, we had a chat uh, in the preseason, and we, we said to, ch- to each other uh, at one time that there are going to come difficult times. It's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows. And when those difficult times come, we must just uh, depend on each other and, and stick to our structures. And I think at the end of the day, when those times came around, uh, we did that quite well. Chris, Ron Stoney Stienkamp was appointed captain at the beginning of the season. He played one game, the opening game against Martis, and then was called up to to Vodacom's Super Rugby duty with the Vodacom Bulls. And then you were thrown into the deep end. How did you adjust your way from coming from going not only as a player, but a player and a leader? Uh, I think for me, it was always, I was always, um, I was always hoping to, to maybe be captain this year. Um, but uh, I've, I've been working on the stone. It's always a privilege. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, we had a chat uh, early in the season and Coach Porter said to me, listen, there is a possibility that, that Stoney will be going up. And if that should happen, I would take captain. So he, he, I, I put it in the back of my mind. And I think at the end of the day, I was, I was really tired and I was, uh, I was hoping for it. So, yeah. Chris, how would you describe your leadership skills or, your, or, or more importantly, your leadership approach on the rugby field? Uh, for, me, for me, I must say that the big thing is, is, is being, being uh, uh, leading from the front. Um, I would never expect something from a player that I'm not willing to give myself. So for me, I'd like to, 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 to say that I'm a leader through actions rather than, than through voice. Definitely, Chris. You were on the bench for the uh, FNB Varsity Cup Dream Team and you uh, you got some game time against the Junior Springboks. And although the result didn't go your way, you, it, it must have been a massive honour. Describe what went through your head when you when you pulled on that jersey and got some game time against the best under-20 team in South Africa. Yeah, I think it was a massive honour got to meet a lot of great Oaks. Oaks that you don't really get to know in a, in a casual sense, uh, other words. I played, a good, played against them uh, the whole season and uh, getting to know them and getting to know their story, I think it was a big eye-opener for me and a massive a massive honour being able to play with them and uh, especially against the uh, Baby Rocks. Chris, you you study at Tux. You be, you're a veteran now of Varsity Cup. You've played a couple of seasons. What are your thoughts on the competition? I think Varsity Cup is an uh, excellent competition. I don't think there is any competition that rivals it um, in the world. Um, I don't, for me personally, I think the best exposure any any young player, upcoming player, can hope for is Varsity Cup. Um, yeah, for me, it's really, really a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, tournament. And the importance of studies, what would you say about that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, this being my first year out of school now, I've seen a lot of a lot of a lot of friends come and go uh, who didn't make it in rugby and. Uh, to, to, to be honest, uh, you could see that they, 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 they know they should have studied the guys that didn't study. And uh, even the guys that did study, uh, Master Cup giving them another chance when you maybe don't make it in the, the professional sense of the word, uh, those studies just give you a back door to, to maybe taking another chance. And at the end of the day, even if you don't make it in rugby, you'll still be able to have a degree and uh, do, to do something with the rest of your life. Because rugby, the sad fact is it's only temporary. Definitely, Chris. Let's move over to the Vodacom Bulls quickly or the Vodacom Bull, Blue Bulls, rather. One of the things I've noticed, having followed Varsity Cup so closely, as well as pretty much any other professional rugby in South Africa, is that the unions are starting to 
help the universities. I mean, Tax has got the Blue Bulls, Eugen Witz has uh, the Golden Lions, uh, UCT and Marty's have Western Province. What are your thoughts on, especially with the winning team this year and the fact that Coach put a human and a lot of the players are all involved in the in the Blue Bulls structures? What do, you, do you think that helps? Do you think it assists? Yeah, definitely. I think um, having some more professional input from, from the union side uh, helps a lot. Um, being able to train against some of the best players in the country on a Tuesday morning and or on a on a Friday and playing on, on Monday it really I think it really up the, uh, ups your your qualities and it makes you a better player at the end of the day. I think also the unions have, have realized that uh, they that what they're putting into Vasic after we're getting back. Chris, the dust has settled on you guys winning the Varsity Cup. What are your aspirations going forward with your rugby career? Uh, I think for me personally, um, I'm in a bit of a jungle between maybe going for my honours and maybe trying to go professional, like in a in a full, in a full sense of the word, but not being a part-time student. Um, and then there's always the option of, of trying to try to to be more honours and playing professional at the same time. So for me, I haven't really decided yet. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunities out there. Uh, yeah, it's just about making the right choice, and I don't want to make a choice that I, I someday regret. Definitely, Chris. As we end off. You are a role model and inspiration yourself. If you had a special message for the next generation of young South African rugby players, what would you say to them to motivate them? Uh, I think uh, the biggest thing I've, I've, I've learned over my five years uh, after school playing professional rugby is that it, it, it's not always going to be easy. There are going to be last times. There are going to be hard times. You are going to wake up and, 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 and feel like like maybe maybe this isn't for me, but... Um, uh, there's a there's a spirit word that says uh, I know it again, and I think that 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 uh, speaks for itself. Uh, the guy that that keeps on persisting and keeps on fighting will always come through at the end. Chris, Game on Magazine would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for spending some time with us as we learn more about you and your rugby aspirations, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavours. It's a massive pleasure, thanks a lot. Huh?